Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Boss Labs. My name is Chu Gutierrez and today I have a pretty short video just kind of give you an overview of this, which is the Apple AirTag. Sorry if you can't really see it. I'm shooting with natural light here in my apartment today, but I got these in a few days ago, I think on Friday, like just about anybody else who is a normal customer. And they came in, I ordered about four of them or five of them. And uh, here's the one that I haven't unwrapped yet. Um, it's got my name on it. I'll show you some clips in a second. But honestly, these things are pretty straightforward. Um, I did own a tile at one point and I never installed the app on my phone. I never used it. I put it on my keychain and kind of wanted to see how it would work with everything that I had. And before I installed the app, I kept pressing the button, kept beeping, and I just took it off and never went back to it. So I don't have any experience with a tile except for that, which I wouldn't even count as an experience. But when these came out, I said, you know what? I love what Apple does. Call me a fanboy, call me whatever you want. I really do enjoy their products and this just fits into everything that I already own. My cell phone, my iPad, my Apple Watch, everything. So I figured let's give this a try and honestly, these things are as simple as it gets. If you watched any other tech review channel that's out there that talks about these, they've gone over how easy it is to pair them. No unboxing, just the straight up talk about how they're simple and I've gotten to use them for the last couple of days and Fortunately, I haven't lost anything yet. I haven't misplaced my keys, which is the most common thing that happens to me. But I was thinking about the other things that people might be using this for, right? Like your bicycle, or in this case, I have a Vespa, so I might stick one of them in there. But the thing is, what happens if someone takes your bike? And is this really kind of something that you would use for that? And for me, yes. But as like a last line of defense, you hide it somewhere in the bike and hope that you can track it if you realize that it's been stolen. So the only thing that I think I would add to these air tags or to the software really is if there's a way that you can toggle on a like stationary air tag. So for example, if you put this on a bicycle or a Vespa or a motorcycle, just toss it in somewhere in one of the compartments and you tell it, hey, as of now, this item, this product, this vehicle is supposed to be stationary right? So it knows that it's just supposed to stay there. And if it moves more than 20, 30 feet, if it gets tagged by another phone or another Apple device, it could send you a notification saying, Hey, the product that, or the item that was supposed to be stationary has been moved. And I feel like that might give you a kind of a more heads up if something's being stolen, um, which would be cool. And I think it could be easily implemented. So we'll see what happens. But honestly, other than that, I was using it today on a shoot, kind of checking to see where my stuff was when I knew I was in range, when I knew I was out of range, every now and then it would pin, it would say, hey, you know, last scene four or five minutes ago, like all your other Apple devices. So no complaints here. They are super easy to install on your phone. They work and you can get them customized. I got one with my name on it and a couple other emojis and it's just very Apple, right? And that makes me happy because this is what I wanted from them, right? Something that's easy to use, something that works with all my other devices and something that I don't have to think about, right? It's one of those products that's just kind of there until you need it. Not like headphones that you use every day or HomePods, which makes me sad that the large HomePod that I have here sitting in front of me is no longer gonna be made because I like them a lot better than the minis. But it's definitely more of a passive item, but a passive item that I will benefit from nonetheless when I misplace my keys and as a last line of defense in case something gets stolen. Hopefully they can add some more functionality when it comes to items getting taken like that. This isn't a low jack or super, super high tech anti-theft, you know, tech here. I don't expect it to be, but it is nice to have as maybe just a, you know, you might get lucky. I know I've used Find My to get my phone once and I was lucky. I was able to track it and get it back from the person who stole it. They just happened to be really drunk and just didn't want any problems. So. That's it for us today. Quick overview of these air tags here. Um, if I do come up with anything down the line or any issues or notice anything that's really cool about them, I will talk about it. You know, I guess we'll just do an occasional Apple update here. And while we're here, I guess Apple update is since the last firmware release on my AirPods Max, they've just been holding charge. I know it's been a month or so, but we didn't talk about it. And they just act like regular Bluetooth headphones that hold charge and no more battery drain. So I love them even more. Anyways, that'll do it for me today. Thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, or you want to talk about the air tags that you got, shoot me a message down below. I'd love to chat with you. All right, I'll see you.